Um, hi, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, as promised, we have a game today, and uh, uh, it's a bit uh, uh, involved in the beginning. Uh, so, I mean, uh, I, I have to lay the uh, the rules of the game. So, please listen carefully in the beginning. Uh, I, I suppose Judah is trying to join uh, with audio. So, Judah is probably not hearing us now. Uh, nevertheless, uh, once we start, it's rather easy to understand. Uh, one of the things that you may need to do uh, to play the game well is to join with microphone because you might have to discuss what strategy you're taking with each other uh, so uh, that is there uh, can 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 arun arun anyone can you hear me if you can can you just unmute and say uh, that you are yes yes sir. <laughs> okay okay so the game is uh, rather simple there is uh, this is a very ancient game but uh, there is a bit of modern technology involved um the the there is there are two warring um, lands one is uh, ours and then there is an enemy uh, who are in this figure they are represented as theirs and we are separated by a river and uh, we have this uh, option of sending one spy from our land to the enemy's land uh, and this spy can communicate back to us uh, across the river uh, they can't shout they can't uh, uh, send uh, email they can't send a pigeon uh, all they have is a lamp or a light or a let's call it a laser light they got from uh, some other place some kind of a light and they have to communicate with just that light so the challenge is uh, or the strategy that uh, uh, we have to decide is when we send one spy to the enemy land uh, on uh, in the first week of the game what we need to know is every night whether they are gonna attack us that night or not whether uh, they're planning an attack that night or not and uh, the spy has to okay uh from vaishnavi can't hear you were uh, uh, i can joining uh, others can hear me i suppose uh vaishnavi can't hear anything more yes i can we can hear you so uh, so every night uh, the uh, the the spy has to communicate uh, back to the our back to the other side with uh, just the lamp and since we do not have a real lamp what we do have is uh, two slides uh, so this is the lamp when it is on and this is the lamp when it is off so uh, the way we are going to play, I mean, practically is uh, we can select one among us as a spy, and uh, I will I will not be playing the game. I will be conducting the game. So I will uh, tell the spy in private uh, message what the enemy is planning, whether they are planning an attack tonight or not, and the spy can communicate to the rest of. Uh, rest of us with either this slide or this slide so uh, the the 
objective is that if they are planning an attack we should be prepared so uh, everyone else on this side should uh, be prepared so you can either uh, say that we are going to be prepared or you can put it in the chat uh, all of that except the spy cannot put anything in the chat the spy cannot talk the spy can only use this slide or this slide uh, i mean you can change uh, it in any way you want i will give you the control this i'll give the spy the control um and uh, the others have to figure out what the spy is trying to communicate uh d d does that make sense uh, is that uh game good enough we can also give the name for our side and their side uh, if you think of one good name for our side and their side Yeah, can 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 someone suggest your team name for our side? As in, this is all all of us. You can even speak, okay? I mean, uh, anyhow, after uh, after we assign name, I'm going to stop talking, and then it's uh, up to you to figure out who should be the spy and uh, uh, what strategy you will use to to communicate. So, okay, thanks, Swati. Uh, you've added rules in the notes. Uh, game rules. Two warring lands. One is ours, and we are separated by a river from the enemy. Enemy have less. Enemy doesn't have laser light. It yeah. is the spy who has the laser light. Uh, we have two strategies. We have to know whether they are planning an attack that night or not. Every night, spy has to communicate with us by using that laser lamp. Okay. Uh, Thank so. You. It won't be. I'll just come now. Okay. Light. Yeah. So spy can't because spy is in the enemy land. They have to be very careful. They can't shout. They can't type. They can't do anything. So, what name to give our side and our enemy? What name to give? Okay, so we are Coder Squad. Uh, this side is Coder Squad. Actually, I joined late. Uh, could I get the benefit of what's happening? Yes, so uh, there is a war going on between Coders Squad and uh, the enemy is yet to be named. Um, and Coders Squad sends a spy to the enemy land every... I mean, can send a spy to the enemy land. And the uh, spy can communicate back to Coders Squad, back to all the others. Uh, whether the enemy is planning an attack tonight or not and based on the communication uh, the others have to be prepared uh, for an attack or not be prepared uh, the only uh, thing is the spy can communicate only with uh, a lesser lamp which if they switch on it will come up like that if they switch it off it will be like that so by default it's probably going to be switched off and if they want to turn it on they can turn it on like that if they want to turn it off they can turn it off like that uh, so it's just switching between the slides uh, so the objective of the game is to uh, uh, beat internet explorer by being prepared for an attack okay so we have named the sites which means now it's your chance to talk to each other and figure out the strategy and figure out who's going to be the spy wait i don't understand like who which side is uh what like we, we are all one side 
Okay, but if we decide who the spy is right now, wait, I, I, I'm still a little confused. Are we supposed to find out who the spy is, or just what the spy is trying to communicate? Uh, the spy, we we are all one side. We can all talk to each other. We can all strategize together. Uh, the spy will be sent to the other side from our side to Cordus Squad side. They will come, go across the river to Internet Explorer side. From then on, uh, the spy can. I, I mean, I will be as Akshay. Uh, I'm not part of the game, so I will be telling the spy uh, what Internet Explorer's plan is through private message, uh, which uh, I'll send via the private chat, and uh, they will have to communicate with the others, uh, with all the others in the Corda squad, through only the lamp, and the lamp can be controlled with the uh, selects as in. You can. This is the lamp switched on. This is the lamp switched off. And by default, the lamp will be switched off. Okay. Uh, fine. I, I got that. Uh, just one more question would be. Um, so uh, we have to figure out what the spy is trying to say to us, right? It, it's not always right. a war situation. It's not like the spy is trying to warn us about a war. Yes, so the um, in at least in the first week, you're just exploring what a spy can do. So you're not overloading the spy. The spy only has to tell whether tonight they're planning an attack, whether Internet Explorer is planning an att attack on Cordes code tonight or not. So it's a yes or no, yes or no kind of thing. Yes. And uh, are we playing iterated games? Are we playing multiple games, or are we playing only like one set where one person is the spy? Uh, we will uh, we will have multiple rounds. Uh, this uh, okay, is getting okay. started. Yeah. I don't mind going first. Okay, um, so today yes. You are going to be the yeah. spy. Uh, okay. Do you have? Do you want to discuss the strategy? Okay. Uh, so uh, strategy. Okay, guys. So let's let's kind of uh, think up of possibilities of what I can expect and how I will kind of uh, uh, use the light to communicate with you. Okay, just uh, type in some potential uh, uh, possibilities, and if you want to talk to me, just tell me something because I, I'm going in trying to expect. Um, um, Moss Codo. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Ah, uh, sorry. I wanted to ask, um, like, once we know that there's a, going to be an attack that night, what are we supposed to do? Or is that the only goal, like, to find out whether there's an attack or not? So, uh, if you figure out there's going to be an attack, just prepare by, uh, you know, shouting to each other, hey, there's going to be an attack, and putting it in the chat, and all of that. Yeah. So, if you're prepared, uh, you won't be harmed. Okay. okay. So if we do prepare ourselves, what's going to happen after that? Like, what's the attack going to look like? Is something going to happen or? Uh, no, if you are prepared and you, you're you defending uh, yourself, you have uh, equipped all your uh, army, then uh, uh, I will <laughs> I will tell Internet Explorer to cancel the war. So we'll go to the next night after that. That will end with one round of the game. Okay, Judah is the spy now. And what are we supposed to do? Uh, do? Do you have a strategy on how to know whether there's a attack? Whether there's going to be an attack? Uh, no. Uh... no. I think 
we can, we can we can choose uh, we can choose uh, if if at all the light uh, the lamp is shown and then it means there is an attack if it's if it's empty then it means uh, everything is uh, well there is no planned attack so that's how we can understand so this is what uh, as a group we can communicate to the spy and that's what spy will communicate back to us wait uh, do can we communicate with the spy because i think only the spy has a control of the light right uh, do we correct have you you have the control but what we also need to understand whether light means there is an attack and black means there is no attack so that is what we have uh, decided when we are just sending the spy to the other side so it's it's understood if a lamp is being shown it means there is a there is going to be an attack so yeah, with this then... information spy has entered the uh, other side and now mm -hmm. depending on the information you get you can just start changing the slides either to the lamp or to the black side but what if uh, uh, he goes there and dies and because of that he doesn't show any signal and but yeah, they will like, like still how can attack we the signs of life yeah sign of life how do we know he's alive and he's trying to communicate with us now and it's just like he doesn't have like a connection issue or some sort of an issue that way Smart, smart. Maybe. Okay, so if if I see if I see uh like the attack, let it be three times. The the light comes three times in a span of uh, you know half a minute. Okay, if it comes, uh, if it doesn't come at all, it means I'm dead. If it comes, uh. Only twice, then we are safe. I don't know. How does that sound? Okay. What about establishing a protocol? Like maybe the first thing you do is tell us that you are okay and safe. So that could be like one blip. Okay. Cool. So I'm there. It means okay. I'm safe in one blip. um and then if i find out that there is no harm uh, it's two blips but if there is a harm then i send three blips how does that sound ah uh, yeah so you saying one blip uh, that you're safe i think should be a recurrent thing like once in 10 minutes or uh, like lighthouse does right so <laughs> you keep on sending that recurrently but in case in between uh, it goes but, uh, off it but, means something yeah, i think because these are plannings and it does not like plans does not usually happen every 10 minutes or something like uh, per day once may be fine and uh, with respect to the second one uh, like alive and then if there is a attack then maybe the three thing might be um, uh, might be enough because just to avoid the confusion of if he is alive then one one kind of thing and then if he is safe again a two uh, uh, two spots and then again if they are planning some three spots instead of that if he is alive it means uh, he is safe so and if he is not flashing it three times then it means uh, there is no attack so can it be as simple as just one uh, one lamp means he is safe and there is no attack if three lamps come Uh, in a sequence then it means uh, there is an attack and if oh, your... no lamp comes then um, the spy has been caught yeah that makes sense yeah yeah sure i think uh, with this strategy Actually, the spy can yes no 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 uh, just finish thing what you were saying Yeah, I think now uh, the spy, uh, the game can actually start. Like spy can move to the other side, and like uh, Akshay will communicate to you what is the plan, and then you can then accordingly um, uh, just give a one one lamp or uh, the three lamps, so we can prepare and we can be assured that you are safe. Okay. Uh, what what I wanted to say is the thing is my internet connection is a little unreliable, and there's a. and uh, yeah i don't know if it's going to go off any time so I, i'll watch the first turn i mean i mean i, I don't mind going in but there'll be a risk for a risk of uh, some sort of connectivity break i think 
with that risk i can take but otherwise if anyone wants to go for a better lesser minimization of risk then uh, someone else can be the spy I oh yeah also sure. one more thing i'm not sure how to change the slide whether that access uh, is the thing is provided to yeah i'll just yes. uh, give you that access so the you only can see. way the spike in yeah, yeah i think now now akshay has given the access so, yeah only way is like you can communicate is by changing the slides So, uh, have we decided? Uh, is Judah going across, or is anyone else joining? I'm going. I can. I'm also on my phone, but I can. I can be the spy. No issues. Okay. Everyone is ready. Yeah. Just one more check. Uh, so, if it's only one blink, then no problem. Three blinks, problem. Correct. Right? Okay. So, and and two blinks. Is... Yes, yes. One blink is uh, uh, we are. I am safe, and there are there are no issues. If three blinks comes, maybe uh, this is the demo. So, this is one blink. So that's it. So it is safe. If at all there is three blinks, it will come like this. So is that okay? Uh, I I say put it a little bit of uh, lag, like don't do it too fast because if you're doing it like twice or something like that, you might accidentally press it a third time. So two two times is like a surety of us being safe for the night. If at all you get that. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. Uh, then we have to increase the uh, limit for maybe five times if at all there is an attack, just to clearly differentiate the safe and attack. Okay. Uh, did, you just, uh, did you just say that once is safe and uh, no attack and that was, the, that was the plan yes 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 i think that we should we should stick to that only once safe and no attack is once and three times is attack okay sure I okay, think okay. Then good to go good to good to go now okay fine so i'm gonna mute you first so that you don't talk and then uh i'm gonna send you a private message uh Hope you have received the message. Yeah, so we are unsafe. Yeah, I think I think we're safe, and uh, if is this the time to discuss? Yeah, but it means we're unsafe, right? Yeah, there were three uh, flashes. Oh, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, so what are we ready for? Right now, what do we do? I mean, how do we hide? Like. <laughs> don't hide fight <laughs> okay very good very good so uh you uh, you have successfully have uh, to get this an attack. uh and uh you have you have successfully 
anticipated an attack and defended yourself on the first night. Uh, do you want to call your spy back and uh, re-strategize or do you want to wait for another night uh, to see what uh, what's going to happen next night? Just to check in, when you mean night, you just mean like a reiteration within today's session, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a long game, yeah. <laughs> also, how do we know whether you're feeding him the right information? Uh, I, I uh, So the game works on trash, so I'm going to feed the right information. I mean, that, there is no other other thing, right? So, uh... <laughs> okay. Okay, you're the you're the reliable you're the reliable uh, informant on that side. Correct, correct. I am actually internet explorers. Okay, but what's the I mean, what's there to re-strategize? Isn't the game fairly straightforward now? Like there are only two possible outcomes. Okay, so. Uh... Here is night two. Neat. So, uh, seems like uh, uh, there is preparation for an attack on the second night as well, which means uh, I'll have to tell Internet Explorer team to not plan attack. I mean, to cancel the attack. Uh, super. So, um, so uh, like Darren said, uh, I'm just gonna send the spy back. Uh, to the uh, quarter squad side and uh, let you regroup because uh, the the quarter squad side figured out that uh, it's easy to communicate whether there's going to be an attack or whether it's not going to be an attack but uh, take presenter and say there are four ports that uh, Cordus Code has, which is Sitlingi, Hosarli, Gudlur, and Bilgiri. And uh, you would like the spy to be able to tell if there's going to be an attack, which port they're going to attack, so that you can concentrate all your uh, energy on yeah. that particular port. And uh, if uh, there's not going to be any attack, you would like to know that as well, so that your army can relax and uh, re refresh themselves. So uh, your spy is back in your uh, uh, in your land, uh, and you can now either choose a new spy or send the same spy with new strategy. Uh, actually, can you just briefly uh, repeat what you just said? Because I had a loss of connection just now. Uh, I just heard like we'll, you'll have to send the spy somewhere. That that's the last thing I heard. Yes, yeah, so uh, uh, I someone else can rephrase so that I can also understand uh, uh, if I explain myself, Gabe. Anyone else who heard me? Can you rephrase? Yes, yes, yes. That's right. So basically, uh, until now, we were just thinking of uh, if there is an attack, you inform. If there is no attack, you just inform. So now, if there is an attack, yes. If there is an attack, on which of the ports? Uh, Settling you was early good lure bilgiri which of the ports the attack will also be planned so that also need to be needs to be communicated by the spy so that uh, the coder squad can actually uh, like hold that fort 
uh, put all the focus on that port and then uh, prevent that attack. So now I think uh, the whatever communication channel which was very simple as one and three uh, will have to be a little bit elaborated now. So uh, how about uh, basically? I think I understand what's happening. It's each each kind of information is a bit. It's like uh, it's like the this thing. It's the smallest possible information that we can give. So the total number of options we have are the total number of signals we can give. So for example, um, we have to put um, no as or safe as one bit so that will be the first one and then we have four options so each of them will either have like two three four and five i think that's the that's how this game works i'm not sure if i hacked this game but how, how does that sound like one is safe and two is sitilingi three is hosahali four is gullu and five is biligiri yeah, uh, yeah, I like the idea. How about this? Rather than having a special code for each place, uh, is it possible to send a signal back to the spy? Like where we ask the spy yes or no questions for these places and not rely too much on an elaborate coding system. So the moment we get a signal that there is an attack, three clips, then we can quickly like just name the cities and get a signal of yes or no. It, 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 is it like I a... think uh, I think the communication channel is a lamp, and it's not a two-way communication. Uh, it's just yeah, a lamp. Uh, which, uh, just fire yeah, on the yeah, other yeah. side can just yeah, light it. I think we have to just just to avoid any confusion. We can keep a, a difference of two. Uh, as one is safe and three, five, seven, and nine, as whenever there is an attack for that respective places, uh, three for Sitlingi, five for Osali, seven for Gudlur, and nine for Bidigiri. So this can be one approach. If there is any other, uh, like this will be a little bit cumbersome for like nine. But people have to wait until they see nine to decide Bidigiri. So. What if they're attacking two places? Yeah. If they're attacking two places, then uh, both have to be also given, right? Yes, 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 totally that makes sense. So there should be a gap between uh, the if if it's uh, Sitalingi and Hosahali, then it has to be three, and then a gap, and then five again. Correct. So gap gap maybe we have to think of a gap of ten seconds. Um, if if uh, so if if at all there is no gap of ten seconds and continuously nine, it means biligiri. But if there is a gap of uh, ten seconds and then like three and then ten seconds gap and then again five, then it means both osal uh, sitlingi as well as uh, osali are being targeted. So I think ten seconds gap is something between if at all there is no lamp being shined for 10 seconds and then again lamp starts to shine it means the second place is also being getting attacked can someone uh, document the strategy yeah, maybe put it up yeah I'll probably put it up on uh, shared notes okay. What is the third? I'm, I'm just typing there. The third or third place is Goodlore, right? Yeah, yeah, it's Goodlore. I'm, I'm typing it in uh, shared notes. Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. Ten seconds.
does it sound good? Uh, sure, I think. Who's the spy? Same spy? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Okay, uh, uh, ready? Yeah, shall I send this by, is this by going to the signal? Uh, okay, I have given the lamp. And I have to tell which city is being attacked, which port. If at all there is an attack. We are safe. Yeah, please take rest, refresh. Um, I, I just want to take a moment to ask uh, uh, Vaishnavi and Arun if they are able to. Okay, Arun. Does Arun is actually at least responding on chat. Vaishnavi, are you able to uh, hear us? And Savini thoughts, you've just joined. Uh, okay, so I'm assuming that uh, you're also enjoying the game. Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, Use the chat if you would like. Uh, okay, so Okay, Swati has woken Goodlur people up. Probably Arun was sleeping in Goodlur. Uh, at least one person noticed that Goodlur is under attack. So, um, 
uh, I suppose uh, you could defend good lore. Uh, <laughs> so uh, uh let's take a, a moment to reflect uh, should we continue playing this game or should we uh, change the rules a bit so that it comes closer to computer science uh change the rules and i really like the game i i i really like the game very good effort okay great so uh, one problem uh, that uh, you are probably having is that because of time lag, you're not able to uh, uh, figure out a way to uh, divide your code into, you cannot continuously have uh, five seconds of light on, five seconds of light on, five seconds of light on as three different light ons. So you have to use uh, on and off, on and off. So uh, to simplify that and to uh, make it more uh, uh, binary in terms of, so uh, unless it's already uh, not clear, uh, I am sure Judah already spoke about it. We are now already speaking in terms of binary where uh, uh, the presence of a light is, uh, is uh, a one and uh, the absence of a light is a zero uh, and that's how computers also communicate uh, the presence of electricity is considered as one and uh, the absence of electricity is considered as zero and they they use uh, time division to uh, quickly be able to uh, count okay uh, for one second uh, i mean simplifying it for one second if there's a if there is electricity so it becomes one the next second there is electricity it becomes one again and then the next second there is no electricity becomes zero and the next second it, there's no electricity becomes zero so it will become one one zero zero uh, like that uh, that's how binary works and so probably uh, for the next part of the game we have only 15 minutes left and this can probably also speed up the game you can uh, use instead of the lamp you can use uh, the chat and you can put messages as either a one or a zero. I mean, any combination of one and zeros. The spy can talk in one and zeros. So if you have that option, would you want to change uh, your strategy uh, with good lure and Masarli uh, and Sitlingi and Biligiri? So I just wanted to like add one more reflection point. Um, I think, like, as soon as I said, uh, see, wh why can't we just have, like, you know, one bit coding everything? And then everyone said, you know, what if we make a mistake? What if human beings make a mistake and we, uh, uh, you know, accidentally press an extra one? So then we kind of put a, we added more information in order to take care of the human ambiguity. So we added, like, one, three, five, seven, like, odd numbers so that the um, human ambiguity or human error kind of gets minimized so we're putting more effort into being more accurate in our communication so that was one point i wanted to say but if we if we if remove the time lag um it allows us to be more accurate like if, if we work at the speed of electricity or typing in the chat say that was just one thing i wanted to say true true i i was very uh, uh it was very interesting to notice that uh that uh, we came up with error correction uh, within our protocol so uh, it, it was really good because a lot of the protocols which are really good have error correction within uh, the protocol and therefore uh, that's why we can have reliable communications on the internet uh, so um, yeah so thank you Judah for bringing that up um, yes do you want to discuss the strategy now Basically, that the spy can use one zero 
or zero i mean uh, one and zero they can communicate with one and zeros in the chat so one could represent the light coming on and zero could represent the pause like no signal and then depending on how many ones and zeros are typed like if we count, count the total number of ones um we can figure out like which place is being conveyed or what information this pie wishes to convey yeah i have uh, yeah. this thing a nice uh, code um so we can keep the safe as a kind of just as a vestigial kind of code so one and then we have one two three four places so one followed by four zeros will be safe and then uh, one followed by you know any one of these places in order of in which it will get attacked we'll know you know which place gets attacked or not so if it's like one one zero 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 then it's sitilingi if it's one Zero one zero zero. It will be Hossa Halle. If it's one zero zero one zero, it will be Gurlul. If it's one zero 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 one, it will be Biligiri. How does that sound? Yeah, I like it. Oh, yeah, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Um, I mean, this can I? Sense. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, I was thinking. Uh, just a modification of that. If it's zero 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 zero, no attack. And then one zero 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 Sitalingi. Perfect. Zero one zero zero. Yeah. That would be perfect. Yeah. 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 I was. Uh, you. You've broken the paradigm. Congratulations. Superb. Superb. Okay. So, um, sure. who's the spy? Does anyone else want to volunteer? Uh, Please, please uh, uh, inform. Otherwise, I'm I'm okay to continue. You're a good spy. I think you should continue. <laughs> sure. Sure, Akshay. Okay, so. So I think you're saying that no one should trust you, uh, Deepak. <laughs> I like that actually. <laughs> Why should someone trust someone? Okay, so when's the spy gonna go? Ah, uh, I don't know. Spy must have gotten a message, but spy is probably distracted. I'm I'm not sure if the spy can text. Okay. So Hosahali and Biligiri is attacked, and the other two places are safe. Everyone wants to agree with that and run to Hussle and Bligri. Yes. Super. This was actually really nice. Uh, there, there is, uh, there is, uh, there are many algorithms which use this particular technique of uh, position uh, to, uh, I mean, the true or false for each position. That's used in many. Uh, algorithms for compactness uh, where you can represent a lot of information in very little space so i mean uh, this is pretty advanced stuff that you've developed so uh, now i'm going to make it really tough we have only eight minutes left anyhow so this time uh, the uh, the uh, internet explorer team figured out that people are sending spikes and therefore they decided that uh, they're going to randomly kill one citizen of Coda Squad. Now, Coda Squad, uh, you have hundreds of citizens. I would say you have 127 citizens in total. And uh, uh, the citizen names are, I mean, you have a 
ID system where uh, every citizen has uh, a number. I mean, you can develop a citizen ID system like that. And uh, you have to protect um, the particular number, the citizen, I mean, the register, whichever number comes that a citizen has to be saved. So you you will have to figure out who that citizen is, um, and uh, you might want to develop a strategy for that. I will be giving the spy the number uh, a number between one and one hundred twenty seven of which citizen is gonna be attacked. If we run out of time, we can make this. Yeah, at a time only one citizen will be attacked for one day or uh, there are there is a possibility that uh, multiple citizens can be killed i don't know maybe multiple citizens may be killed wait also why can't the identity the unique identity number just be number one to 127 like why does it require a more elaborate code because um, the, the only the only information we are given to communicate with is the this thing technically just the lights on and off so we are re okay. we are representing that in terms of uh, ones and zeros yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So it's a constraint so internet explorer team doesn't know the names of the people who live in coder squad they just have a list of photographs and they have named numbered it one two three four five six so they're just gonna give uh, uh, a number um, i mean okay that story has loopholes but nevertheless um, they're just gonna reveal a number to the spy or i'm gonna reveal on behalf of internet explorer that's not the plan internet explorer had um, and the spy will be able to communicate that number with you but what's your strategy to communicate and the spy can only use one and zero and one and zero and they can't even use space okay they can only send one zero one zero and they can only send like one message okay i just want to think out loud okay two thoughts one thought is we can uh, remove all loopholes from the story by saying that uh, you know this is either some matrix come terminator kind of theme in which all the human beings are numbered and we are rebelling against the uh, ai and uh, they are having a kill uh, a kill request on on any number and the number is equivalent to a human being so until we get rid of internet explorer we can't be free of the unlawful numbering or the unhumanitarian numbering of human beings and the second thing i wanted to say is uh 127 is uh one it's it's 128 minus one so that's a power of two. So the, the whole point about powers of two in binary is that, uh, you know, we can express things in ones and zeros easily. Now, I have, now what power of two is 128? Zero can be a space we're representing. Oh wait, so uh, I mean, I, I don't. I don't think this is the right time to teach everyone binary. Is any? Is, and uh, does anybody? I don't think everyone knows what binary is, right? So I uh, let me just. Uh, hmm. Like I know, I know the easy way to solve this problem, but I don't know if I should uh, spend time on it. Can Actually, just... I have one suggestion. Hello. Yeah, uh, I think someone typed there like 22 can be right. So that's a two digit number. So first, let's use one and zero to talk about the uh, first number. So two can, can be uh, one twice. And then again, in the second line, uh, we can talk about the second number again because it's 22. It can be one twice. So again, taking another number, like if it were to be, say, 97 in the first line, we'll type one nine times. And in the second line, the spy will type one seven times. And to be more specific in the third line, there can just be a zero if it's just a two-digit number. If someone has any just a clarification, do we do we have do we have 
do we have lines and indentation i thought uh, no, akshay no, said there are no are lines and in, uh, indentation like everything is just uh, together uh okay, yes so i i gave you the chance to use numbers because uh, mm. lamp was hard but in a lamp there's only on and off right so you can't have a new line a new line is a third mm -hmm. third character or a third thing you are yeah okay then i'm using yeah. line as uh, demarcating a sentence uh, the digit right yeah. you can use instead of line as it's it can be just one zero no so, uh, can we can we use yeah zero as a demarcator and if at all it is 90 like maybe 23 so then two ones zero and then uh, three more ones so it indicates two three. yeah so if, if at all is 121 then one oh, yeah, zero yeah that's uh, yeah 110 one, one. yeah right so, yeah that's a uh, that's like coding or uh, decimals long the long way So what if there are like two people or three people? How are we going to differentiate the code between two or three people? Correct. Like so when one 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 people one one person no, gets the, over, the, uh, then we can add two zeros, and then a fresh individual will start. Like for example, twenty three and one twenty one are being attacked, so it will be one one zero one 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 double zero one zero double one zero, and then triple one. So wherever there is a double zero, that means uh, one individual number is over. Okay, so double zero means like the second uh, person, the, and a single zero means the starting. second digit. Number. Yes, yes, yes. Single zero is always indicating the next digit, and double mm -hmm. zero means the next individual. I think it's a great uh, solution. Akshay, tell us. Uh, yeah, let's let's have a go. But are the cities also being attacked, or we're just trying to find out the people being attacked? That's it, right? Ah, uh, so yeah, citizens are oh. all from Koda Squad. Okay, but this has nothing to do with Gudur and Bilgiri and. Ah, uh, um, because now since Akshay has not told, we will tell we have a registry of all one twenty seven, and we know which number is in which city. Okay. Do you want to add that complexity? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe lack of time, so maybe not. Okay, it's ten o'clock. Like, not, but that's it's a... not very difficult uh, as such. If at all, that needs to be added the same four-digit code which we had used last time, zero one zero one. So such, that kind of code needs to be added. So, but now I think we can just limit to that numbers. Yeah. Okay. So who is the spy? Deepak, right? Sure. Okay, so Is everyone seeing the chat? Okay, so um, <laughs> this is super. I mean, it was sixty-four and one-one-one. 
the citizens have been saved. Um, and uh, I just got to say, uh, I mean, this was really super. I mean, uh, uh, I, I, I figured out a lot of different ways of thinking about the same problems and uh, all of that. And I'm just going to do one thing. I'm not going to conclude this. I'm just going to let uh, everyone keep thinking about this problem, including like how would you um, solve if you wanted to also include the cities or the ports you know, in the in the same uh, code along with citizens and uh, imagine if you also wanted to transmit some text uh, let's say words um, you want to say they're coming by a uh, boat or uh, uh, some secret password something you want to transmit with the same think about uh, how you would be uh, strategizing for that it, maybe we can think for a week on that on your free times and uh, uh, next week when we meet uh, we will do something else uh, similar and we will build on that particular concept and focus on certain things about file extensions and file types and stuff like that we we will read the theory of this next week okay that's it from my side it's four past ten thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you yeah akshay hello yes savinit so the purpose of this exercise like what you guys were discussing before is can you just tell that again uh the objective of the game yeah 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 objective of the game is to protect uh coder squad the citizens and the <laughs> is that what you wanted no no not the objective of the game I'll, like uh, I'll exp I'll, i think i can explain Ah, okay. be, be, basically, uh, Akshay is trying to develop an analogy between how computers transmit information and uh, the constraint of this game and how we can transmit information. So in uh, this in this game, we uh, we are going to like some other place, and we have the constraint of communicating to our friends back at home with only a lamp, a lamp light on and off. Ah. Hello. Yeah, Judo. You can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. No, I thanks for that. I got the gist of the game. So you're saying that the constraint of just using binary term, this mode of communication is used for all type of processing. Is it like image, text, or just uh, text input, video input? Yeah, every, is that everything is fundamentally a binary uh, combination of binary things? Like okay. the, the different circuitry, but they are all mm -hmm. arranged with either electricity passing through it or not. That's how computations okay, okay. occur. All right. So I, uh, what I was saying was, I'm not going to talk about that this week. Well, let's think about that next week so that the whole week you can continue thinking about this particular game and the challenges and the complexities that you can uh, include in the strategy that you developed on your own so so that you don't get uh, uh, start reading about the existing protocols and stuff like that uh, but i mean you're of course welcome to read about the existing protocols that people have built but these were all built by human beings so we should also be able to develop some of our protocols so right also i thought you were going to give a further constraint of uh, limiting the amount of information the spy can send like you know the spy is going to get uh, like hand paint trying to give so many lamp lights so the maximum number uh, you know it has to be like some less than some number yeah you can you can set yourself that constraint and uh, come up with a different strategy So next week, uh, next week we have to think of various permutations in which we can use this code, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so what I'm planning is, uh, I mean, for the for the week, uh, uh, please uh, feel free to keep thinking if you have time, uh, come up with ideas and stuff like that. But uh, next week we will uh, we will just uh, look at the theory behind all of that, like what Judah was just trying to explain. Uh, we'll look at that in in a bit more detail. I'll, I'll try to make it uh, as interesting without uh, losing the fun. 
uh, but also still make it like computer science. Okay, thank you. I mean, so uh, when uh, so when we use the codes now, we mainly relied on position, right? So in the next, uh, but there are other ways of doing it. Is what you're saying, and we can think of that. Maybe there are. Yeah, you can think. You can set your own constraints. If you want to uh, reduce the number of bits or the number of uh, characters you're using, like Judah wants to, you can try that. If you want to not use positionality at all, you can try that. And we have to come up with like our own uh, uh, purposes for the code or just think about it? Like, we have to give a scenario to it? Mm, uh, it's about how much flexibility you can uh, build into. So, for example, like I said earlier, if you can transmit words, probably you can transmit everything else, right? So, uh, think about if you can bring, come up with a very flexible thing that can transmit any kind of information. And uh, that would be kind of the uh, la last level of this game. Uh, Uh, I know it's quite late, but uh, I just think I'll the 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 simplest. I think there's a significance when Akshay gave a number one twenty seven. So one twenty seven is basically a power of two minus one. I, I know I wrote plus one, but it's actually it's one twenty eight minus one. So if you keep on like multiplying two into two into two into two, you will get like you know two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four, and then one twenty eight. So I think the idea behind that is uh, each power of two can be represented, uh, you know, easily in binary. So like 10 is actually two, uh, 100 is actually four. So like that, 128 is, uh, you know, it's, I mean, I, I, I need to think for it, but I think that, so it's like, you just need seven, seven digits to represent a number uh you know of 128 in uh, in binary as opposed to just like 11000 like a conversion of decimal uh hello so 128 is 2 to the power of 7 right uh let's just right so what you so what you're saying that uh one will indicate two, just two to the power of zero. No, I mean two to the power of one. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Okay, wait. I'll just I'll, I'll just explain. Okay. So uh, I'll type in the chat. So zero in binary is zero. Uh, one in binary is one. Uh, but in we don't have two in binary right because we only have two digits in binary one and zero so two in binary is one zero so the if there's a second person uh, the second person we can code him as one zero uh and then this third person will be one one now now we're coming to four four is the second power of two so it will have uh three digits it will have one zero zero so a hundred so one zero zero in binary actually represents four so like that eight is one with three zeros uh eight and then 16 will be um like ten thousand so one two three four so the powers of two will will have like a like it'll be ten thousand number of zero uh, hundred thousand yeah the number of zeros basically uh yeah exactly the number of zeros so 128 is 2 to the power of 7 so uh it'll be it'll be seven zeros one two three four five six seven six six so zeros. No, six the, zeros. The, exactly so one the 127 will have six uh six ones six uh right yeah 
Does that make sense? Okay, no. No, I got I got it till the 128 part how you'll represent it. So, how are you uh, saying it's 127 right. now with this one next to Okay. So, uh, basically we 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 are trying to find out now what a power of now we now we know what a power of 2 looks like in binary a power of 2 looks like you know some multiple of 10 in our, what we are familiar with so in uh, in our uh, decimal system 1 minus any power of 10 will be like 99 will be 99 uh, 999 9999 but in binary we only have ones and zeros so the subtraction of 1 like the subtraction of 100 1 minus 100 in binary will be 1 1 so when we add 1 to you know double 1 we have to add 1 0 in the next number place and two zeros it's like a slot okay it's like uh, the slot got empty so i'm putting a next place value Okay okay actually so, uh, I can't see the chat chat box but yeah go on Okay so um so now we know that uh powers of 2 in binary look like powers of 10 in decimal so um so now let's look at what what powers of 2 minus 1 look like so how would you represent 1 in binary in binary 1 is represented by 1 So now we want to represent what three looks like because three is four uh, minus one. So we can get that from. Uh, so let let's say okay one is one. Now we want to go to the next place value because we've finished our slots. So that'll be one zero. There are two place values. So two to the power of one has one zero. Now. we add one more so uh, it now becomes 3 so it becomes 1 1 so 3 is represented as 1 1 in binary so we have this and now let's let's look at 8 uh, 8 minus 1 which is 7 so now we've finished 3 right so 3 is 1 1 now we want to add 1 now it looks like 1 0 0 so 4 is 1 0 0 uh now let's make it 5 So one zero one, so that is five. Now we want to add one more, so we have to increase the place value. So it becomes one one zero because the one slot one got over in in one 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 zero six one one zero six, and now we want to add seven. We want to add one more, so now it becomes one one one. 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 Hmm. Right. Yeah, so we have it. this idea that this the place value of uh, two to the power of anything minus one will actually have ones. Hmm. Will be all ones. So that yeah. is the significance of that. So okay. if we want two to the power of seven minus one, it will just be six uh, six ones. Yeah, because you are okay. Got it. Got it. Ah, uh, hello. You were just looking at the shape, yeah. Yeah, I think so I, I kind of got it. Twenty-seven, yeah. right? Uh, but I'm so not 127 sure. So one twenty-seven would like... represent. Y- yes, you were saying. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's less complex than what we developed a bit earlier, based on what you're telling. That's all. Not less complex. It's just a different way of thinking because it's a different uh, number system. It's like you're only mm-hmm. given two numbers, and it's a little unfamiliar. So people will think it's complex. But the reason uh, you were saying, yeah, I mean, uh, you can. So as the multiples increase, right? Even that space increases a lot more. Like it's between sixty-four and one twenty-eight. This it's sixty-four times that space. No. So it'll all be like, I don't know. Maybe I'll think through it and I'll right. try next time. We can see whether this is a an easier no. method. No, 
like I'll like I'll tell you exactly like see look at the difference between how we coded in this game and how the number would be represented in binary. So in this game we coded like a simple number as one one zero one 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 zero zero just to uh, as a as like a kind of conversion to our idea of place value because we have three numbers three finger we have ten fingers so we are thinking in terms of that. But I think when we think in yeah. terms of bit, we we are we are having this constraint of uh, mm. is electricity passing through this circuit representing? So it's like it's actually the smallest. We're representing something in terms of the smallest uh, kind of information, which is yes or no. So the whole point mm. of ones and zeros is: can you represent it in the number of ones and zeros, and in terms of only yes and no? So. when i represent it like in binary it's it's just you know such a big number i'm i'm kind of compressing the information so it's more like uh like if you compare yeah, the numbers we got because hello yeah yeah hello yeah uh, you are this power of 2 that you told right you're taking it from it's it's from it's from a source article right or you, you it's not like you made up made this up right <laughs> no i didn't make it up uh ah, so i think it'll be easier if you just share that so maybe we can go through it and next time right, right we can right. see if this is a simple yeah i kind of got sure. it for 128 what you said but again i'm just wondering whether it's easier that no way. i think i think there's a better there's definitely a better visualization mm-hmm. on the net somewhere of binary i'm sure okay. there will be, there will be okay okay, okay so shall i end the this thing uh yeah sure. thank you great game thank akshay, akshay. love this luda thank you thank you sure sure thank you. bye ending the meeting bye, bye. bye.